This is actually, I, I videoed this in week two because I didn't go last week. And this is actually our second run that I've recorded. We decided to run it twice because it's so easy. So we took half of our mains on the first raid and like the scrubby people on the second raid. So I joined the second raid, obviously. Um, as you can, can see, see like, you might not recognise any Hi. of the people on the uh, eighth there, yeah. But you can't recognise anyone else. Chivai's there, Corthas. Hello, Corthas. Missy's over there. Hi, Missy. There's loads of mains. What are you talking about? <laughs> right, all right. So what is this thing? It's, it's a man on, on some kind of weird-looking horse. No, no, no. It's a, it's, it's a magnetor, you idiot. It's like a man-horse. A man-horse? Yeah. Oh, it's just... He killed, like, loads of them. Why's he got, like, a saddle on him, though? That's a bit weird, isn't it? Riding a man-horse. Oh, snowbolds. They should have co kobolds should be a race. Why aren't they a race? Why well, we got Wargun instead? I mean, they've got like a little town near Goldshire in Elwyn Forest. A little underground town that they live in. You take no candle! With all their candles that they collect. Yeah. They're very fond of candles, aren't they? Why do they put so much... Um... They wear them on their heads, don't they? Just like their hats. That would hurt though, wouldn't it? You get like wax dripping down into your eyes. That'd be horrible. Well, no, it wouldn't drip into your eyes. They got hair as well. They got head. They got hair on their head, and that would they get like melty wax in their hair. That'd be hell to wash out. This is a pretty boring fight, to be honest. Like this fight is worse than Death Hitler. What is this Death Hitler stuff? Oh God! Do I have to go through the whole fucking thing of Death Hitler? Okay, well, the story goes that in about 15 years from now, Death Hitler will rise to power in England. He's he's basically the second Hitler, like the second coming of Hitler, only he's deaf. Right. Is he like a direct descendant of Hitler or, or one of Hitler's relatives? Or is he the actual no. corpse of Hitler no. risen no. from the grave? He's not a zombie Hitler. That's a completely different Hitler. This is the reincarnation of Hitler. Right. <laughs> the second coming mm. of Hitler. Exactly. Like like Jesus is going to come back at some point in the future, so is Hitler. But Hitler will probably get here first. Well, I can't wait. Do you think wait. Jesus will, like... Do you think Jesus will announce when he's coming back? He'll just give us some advanced knowledge. He'll post it on Twitter. Because, I mean, if, you, I mean, if you're going to go and visit a friend, it's better that you phone them up beforehand... I think if if Jesus just turns up one day and you know everybody be like oh oh Jesus um hello and he'll be like oh what's up guys why are you not happy to see me why why are you being like this is this awkward um should I have called first how would he prove that he is actually Jesus though well he'll have a beard and long hair he'll be wearing a robe he'll have holes in his hands with like blood, bloody holes in his hands, the stigmata. Are you sure? He'll he'll have, all he'll this. have like a golden halo around his head. I thought he was head. the second coming, though. He's the second. He's not he, zombie he's... Jesus. He's not zombie. No, Jesus. but he's got the same. He's <laughs> he's got the same kind of like style as the original Jesus. You know, he he's he's like read through the Bible and he's like, oh wow, this Jesus guy is really cool. And then he goes, oh, oh, wait, that's kind of like, that's me. I'm like the second Jesus. And so he just, like, steals all of the ideas the original Jesus had about his looks. So he wears the robe and what the sandals, about his looks? grows his hair long, He stole the beard. Jesus' fashion scheme. Exactly. You know, and it'll probably be a good look for him. It'll probably work out, you know, it'll probably look really nice. You know. Also, did you say him. Jesus had a grey beard? I'm pretty sure he didn't have a grey beard. No, a, a long beard. Jesus a did not have beard, a long grey beard. He had like a little black goatee, didn't he? He had a goatee. God has a long grey beard. Goatee. Jesus doesn't have. A did long he have a soul beard. patch? <laughs> Jesus had a soul patch, and and in his eyebrow, he also had like those two lines that are done in with the the razor, the electric razor. And he had like a, um, um, a badge, like pinned to his his blazer lapel that reads "420 smoke weed every day." Jesus wouldn't do drugs. 
You don't do drugs if you're Jesus. You said just what? Sorry, what are the Jesus. rules? Why would G- why wouldn't the, Jesus he... do drugs? I think Jesus would do drugs. Because drugs are bad. Who Satan, says they're bad? Satan does drugs. No, he doesn't. All the drug dealers and all the people who died of drug overdoses all go to hell. And that no. is a fact. <laughs> it's no use arguing, it's a fact. Because it's written down in the Bible. And Where? if it's not in the Bible... It... If it's not in the Bible, then it's because Jesus just left it out. You know, he wasn't a great writer. He probably thought up the idea, but he just didn't put it down to paper. Um, Jesus didn't write so... the Bible, Simon. Yeah, of course he did. Who the fuck do you think wrote the Bible? <laughs> Not Jesus. <laughs> what do you mean Jesus wrote the Bible? When did he have time to do that? He was like, you know, sitting at home, chilling out, doing a bit of writing in the he evening. He had 30 years. He had 30 years of his life when he wasn't really doing anything apart from his carpentry. And Are when you it sure turned out that, that he Jesus wasn't, the, you know, could even read and write because he was the son of a carpenter. He probably was illiterate. Yeah, but they put him through school. They put him through grammar school. Jew, Jew grammar school. It's, it's all about social mobility, and there was quite a lot of that at the time. So his parents may have been working class, but they wanted to put him through a good school. So they saved up and they put him through a grammar school, a Jewish one, obviously. And, you know, he ended up being the son of God. So you see, it works. The system works. Anybody could be Jesus if they put their mind to it. <laughs> That's... I, I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Who who approves of Jesus? Is there a sort of... Do you have to go before a panel and be interviewed? Do you have to fill out a test? Well, you have to be the son of God, obviously. If you're not the son of God then you're somewhat underqualified to be Jesus. Right, so does that mean that on your birth certificate it has to say Father God? Yes. Or, you know, Yahweh, or whatever you want to call him. The Lord, you know, that would work. Him, with a capital H. With a capital H. Yeah. Yeah. But not capital H, capital I, capital M because that's his infernal majesty which is the opposite of God, that's Satan oh dear, it's the anti-god so you could accidentally conceivably find Jesus and find that Jesus is actually the anti-Jesus there could be a problem, there could be like a typographical error on the birth certificate that would lead you to believe that someone is Jesus, well, but it's in very actual fact easy. they're the anti-Christ. also because J is right next to H so they could say that his father was Jim and then they accidentally wrote him that's true that could happen but I mean if they did it that way round and it was actually Jim that was his dad that wouldn't make him the Antichrist his dad's just some bloke called Jim okay imagine though his initials were uh, James Ian Masterson right and they just put his initials down why would they do that? Why would they just put his initials down? And also, if it was his initials, there'd be like a little dot after each um, letter. Uh, well, maybe they so... wrote in pencil, and over the years, the dots have faded away. But why have the dots faded away, and not, like, the letters? So smaller. Or at least parts of the letters. I mean, if, if part of the J gets worn away at the bottom, it'll look like his dad's called Tim. <laughs> Where's this going? <laughs> what the fuck? Simon? I don't know, but I think this is this is a bloody good commentary for that shitty arena fight. This is better commentary than it deserves. You've been listening to the Ogs cast with Zephos and Honeydew. Ding!